In a world where incessant noise and the frantic race against time seem to be the norm, finding genuine ways to stand out and cultivate authentic connections can be a daunting task. However, there is an approach that challenges this notion, suggesting that the true key to a magnetic presence lies not in the volume of one's voice, but rather in the subtlety of being. This video is not just an invitation, but rather a journey that invites you to explore with us the secrets of a quiet charm, a magnetism that transcends the hustle and ensures that your presence is noticed and remembered, even in the quietest and most serene corners of this world. Together, let's delve into a vast universe of practices and habits that celebrate the beauty of authenticity and simplicity. Let's explore nonverbal language, the delicate gestures that speak volumes, the refined art of communication through gaze and posture. Let's unravel the mysteries of personal style, discovering how the careful choice of clothing and accessories can be a powerful expression of who we are. Let's enter the fascinating world of fragrances, understanding how a sensory choice can engage the senses and leave an indelible mark on memory. But our journey doesn't stop there. Let's explore refined etiquette, the small gestures of courtesy and kindness that can open doors and establish lasting connections. Let's learn the art of attentive listening, discovering how to make space for others to shine while still radiating a magnetic and captivating presence. If you're looking for ways to amplify your charm without saying a single word, then this is where you belong. This is an invitation to connect with transformative practices, to absorb knowledge that can change not only how the world perceives you, but also how you perceive yourself in the world. This is the moment to allow yourself to be guided by this journey of personal discovery where silence speaks volumes and subtlety becomes your greatest strength. Before we fully immerse ourselves in this fascinating universe of silent attraction, allow me to cordially invite you to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. By doing so, you'll ensure that you're always up to date and won't miss any of our carefully crafted content designed to assist you on your journey to cultivate a more enriching life and more meaningful connections. Are you ready to embark on this transformational journey where your presence will be shaped into something truly unforgettable? Then, without further ado, let's proceed. Embracing authenticity goes beyond being just a concept. It's a complex journey that permeates the very essence of the human experience. Emerging as a singular odyssey, embracing authenticity delineates the contours of being in its purest and truest form. Far from being merely a superficial trait or a passing adornment, Authenticity presents itself as the highest manifestation of an individual's inner truth, a vivid manifestation of their deepest convictions and unalienable values. Within this context, being authentic is not limited to standing out in the crowd for uniqueness. It is, in fact, a courageous invitation to delve deeply into oneself, exploring the innermost recesses of one's essence. It's about emerging not with a mask molded by others' expectations, but rather with the true face sculpted by unique experiences lessons learned, and personal beliefs. This process of self-discovery and self-affirmation is not a linear journey nor free from challenges. On the contrary, it requires a constant dose of introspection, authenticity, and resilient courage to remain true to one's essence, even when the storms of doubt and conformity try to veer off course. It's the courage to stay true to oneself, even when the world around you seems to demand otherwise. Therefore, as we venture together into this territory of authenticity and genuine connection, I invite you to open your heart and mind to the transformative possibilities that await. This is an invitation to a journey of self-discovery, personal growth, and meaningful connections. This is the moment to embrace your deepest authenticity and let your presence make a lasting impression on the world around you. Are we ready to embark on this journey of discovery and evolution together? If so, then let's begin. Authenticity, like a shining beacon amidst the darkness, exerts a magnetic fascination on those who recognize and value sincerity and depth in human interactions. This quality is not only admired but seen as a fundamental pillar in building meaningful relationships, grounded in mutual trust and respect. Imagine a deep conversation among friends, where every word is spoken with sincerity and every emotion is shared without reservation. It is in this space of authenticity that true bonds are forged creating a solid foundation for mutual support and personal growth. When social masks fall away and the true essence of each individual is revealed, there emerges a sense of freedom and connection that transcends the formalities of everyday life. Moreover, authenticity is not limited solely to interpersonal interactions, but also manifests in the way someone lives their daily life. 
It is evident in the consistency between proclaimed values and practiced actions, in the courage to take responsibility for mistakes, and in the willingness to show vulnerability. This integrity resonates deeply with others and inspires trust, as it demonstrates a genuine willingness to be honest with oneself and with others. When someone allows themselves to be authentic in their actions and words, they go beyond the superficial formalities of daily life. Instead, they create connections that serve as safe havens and fertile grounds for growth and inspiration. Authenticity becomes a source of light that illuminates not only the path of the one expressing it, but also the environment around them. Think of examples of authentic leaders who have inspired significant changes in their communities or society at large. Their stories of courage, honesty, and empathy resonate in people's hearts and mobilize others to follow their examples. These leaders are not only admired for their achievements, but also valued for their authenticity and integrity, which serve as a source of inspiration for everyone around them. By living authentically, an individual not only reinforces their own identity in society, but also challenges and redefines the concept of social influence. True influence lies not in the number of followers or fleeting popularity, but rather in the lasting impact that an authentic being can have on the lives and communities they are a part of. Each act of authenticity is like a seed planted, capable of sprouting and inspiring others to also embrace their own journeys toward authenticity. Thus, genuine influence spreads organically, driving positive change in the hearts and minds of those fortunate enough to cross paths with an authentic soul. Expressing oneself through fashion and clothing is more than just choosing clothes to cover the body. It's a complex process of self-expression, where each selected piece, each adopted color, and each chosen texture become elements of a personal narrative. In the vast field of fashion, the act of dressing transcends mere functionality, transforming into an intimate dialogue with the world, a way to communicate without words the uniqueness of each individual. Imagine someone's wardrobe as a library of visual stories, where each piece tells a part of the journey of life, beliefs, values, and personality of the person who chose them. These choices are not merely aesthetic, but intricate reflections of who we are and what we value. By opting for certain clothes, we are telling the world a story about ourselves, a narrative that goes beyond words. Therefore, clothing selection goes far beyond following passing trends. It's a deliberate act of authenticity, where each choice is guided by the intention to communicate our deepest essence. Choosing clothes that align with our identity not only reinforces our self-confidence, but also helps us better understand ourselves. It's a continuous process of self-discovery, where we learn more about who we are and how we wish to be seen by the world. When we manage to align our external expression with our inner truth, we create a visible harmony between being and appearing. This authenticity not only strengthens our self-image, but also attracts people and opportunities that resonate with our essence. When we feel authentic in our way of dressing, we radiate a magnetic presence that attracts genuine connections and allows us to stand out in the crowd. Therefore, fashion is much more than a simple choice of clothes. It's a powerful form of self-expression and self-discovery. Every piece we wear is a silent declaration of who we are and what we value, an opportunity to present ourselves to the world with authenticity and integrity. Fashion is not just a form of expression. It's a vast territory of discovery and experimentation, offering each individual an infinite playground to explore different aspects of their identity and play with the diversity of their personas. Each chosen piece of clothing, each unusual combination, each touch of color or pattern, is more than just a stylistic choice. It's an invitation for observers to delve into the depths of an ever-evolving personal narrative. Imagine fashion as a universal language, in which each garment is a sentence and each ensemble is a chapter of a constantly developing story. By wearing clothes, we not only dress ourselves for the world, but also share parts of ourselves that go beyond words. Every detail, from the cut of the garment to the choice of fabric, reveals a unique layer of our identity and allows us to communicate subtle aspects of our personality. Nonverbal communication is a powerful tool that complements this visual expression. It's a symphony of gestures, facial expressions, postures, and gazes that acts as a silent mirror of our soul. A simple change in posture can speak volumes conveying confidence, receptivity, and even vulnerability without uttering a single word. For example, an upright and open posture not only boosts our own confidence, but also sends a clear message of strength and openness to dialogue. Similarly, a genuine smile can break down barriers and create instant connections, while averted gaze may suggest discomfort or disinterest. 
Thus, by combining fashion and nonverbal communication, we are able to tell complex stories about who we are and how we relate to the world around us. Each clothing choice, each gesture, each expression becomes a powerful tool for building authentic relationships and expressing our true essence. Through this dynamic interaction between fashion and nonverbal communication, we are able to connect on a deeper level with ourselves and others, creating bonds of understanding and empathy that transcend the barriers of verbal language and allow us to truly express ourselves and relate on a fundamental human level. Likewise, facial expressions, these instant portraits of our emotional states, serve as bridges of empathy, allowing for a deeper understanding of feelings and predispositions. Each smile, furrowed brow or raised eyebrow, reveals intricate layers of our thoughts and emotions, conveying subtle messages that complement and sometimes contradict our words. Facial expressions are like the universal language of humanity, allowing us to communicate complex feelings without the need for a single word. Eye contact, in turn, is the thread that connects two beings in a moment of true communication, a direct channel to the soul that can express sincerity, interest, and mutual respect. When eyes meet, a silent exchange of energy occurs, establishing a connection that transcends mere verbal dialogue. Eye contact can convey empathy, trust, and even love, strengthening the bonds between people and creating a sense of shared intimacy. The ability to maintain appropriate eye contact, neither evasive nor intrusive, is crucial for establishing a genuine connection, an expression of total presence and dedicated attention to the interlocutor. Looking into the eyes of the other person is a demonstration of respect and interest, indicating that we are truly engaged in the conversation and open to their perspective. However, it's important to note that excessive eye contact can be interpreted as intimidating or aggressive, while lack of eye contact may suggest disinterest or lack of confidence. Adjusting and refining these nonverbal signals is an art that requires not only self-awareness, but also a keen sensitivity to the nuances of human interaction. Observing and interpreting facial expressions and patterns of eye contact are skills that can be developed with practice and mindful attention. As we become more aware of our own nonverbal cues, we also become more capable of recognizing and responding to signals from others, creating a more fluid and authentic communication. Such refinement is not about manipulating others' perceptions, but rather enhancing the quality of our presence in the world, making it more congruent with our intentions and values. By aligning our facial expressions and eye contact with our true feelings and intentions, we become more authentic and genuine in our interactions. This not only strengthens our connection with others, but also helps us cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and authenticity. By harmonizing our nonverbal communication with our inner voice, we become more authentic and consequently more attractive and accessible to others. When our words, facial expressions, and eye contact are aligned, we create a magnetic presence that draws others to us and facilitates a deeper and more meaningful connection. People are naturally drawn to those who radiate authenticity and integrity, and refining our nonverbal communication is a powerful way to cultivate this quality. This process of refinement is not a destination, but rather a continuous journey of self-exploration and adjustment, where every gesture, every glance, every expression, is an opportunity to connect more deeply with others and with oneself. As we continue to deepen our understanding of the nuances of nonverbal communication, we discover new ways to express our thoughts and emotions, strengthening our relationships and enriching our lives. The journey of refinement never ends, but it is this constant pursuit of authenticity and genuine connection that allows us to grow and evolve as human beings. Therefore, enhancing nonverbal communication is an exercise in empathy and authenticity, a quest for balance between expressing our essence clearly and receiving the world with openness and availability. Our nonverbal communication, composed of gestures, facial expressions, and eye contact, often conveys more than our words, reflecting our true feelings and intentions. Improving this form of communication is not just a skill, but an art that allows us to connect more deeply with others and create meaningful relationships. Standing out with etiquette in the intricate theater of social interactions makes etiquette and good manners emerge as the subtle yet powerful instruments of harmonious orchestration. Far from being merely archaic formalities or meaningless rituals, etiquette and good manners are the silent language of respect and consideration. They are like notes in a symphony, contributing to a collective experience that is elevated and rewarding for all involved. Etiquette not only demonstrates our education and refinement, 
but also establishes a standard of conduct that promotes an environment of harmonious coexistence. Practicing etiquette is essentially a demonstration of respect for others. It is a recognition of others' sensitivities, a willingness to adjust our behavior to provide comfort and well-being to those around us. This means being attentive to small details, such as holding the door for someone, giving up your seat on public transportation, or simply listening attentively when someone is speaking. It is these small actions that demonstrate our care and consideration for others, building relationships based on mutual respect and courtesy. This sensitivity to details in social situations not only facilitates smooth interaction between individuals of different backgrounds and beliefs, but also weaves the fabric of a kinder and more respectful coexistence. By practicing etiquette and good manners, we create an environment where everyone feels valued and respected. This promotes a sense of community and connection where differences are celebrated and relationships are nurtured with care and mutual respect. In a world where divisions are often evident, etiquette can serve as a powerful unifier, reminding us of our shared humanity and the importance of treating each other with kindness and courtesy. Thus, demonstrating good manners is not just about following rules or adhering to social conventions. It is a sign of personal refinement and a keen awareness of the nuances of human interaction. While etiquette rules can provide a basic set of guidelines, the true essence of etiquette lies in the ability to understand and respond to the needs and sensitivities of others with compassion and respect. It is a manifestation of our consideration for others' feelings and a demonstration of our willingness to positively contribute to the environment around us. A person who stands out for their etiquette and good manners is immediately recognized as someone who values social harmony and possesses a deep understanding of interpersonal interactions. Their conduct reflects a commitment to courtesy, mutual respect and kindness, characteristics that are highly valued in any social context. It is this attention to detail and the ability to navigate gracefully through the complexities of human relationships that makes such a person stand out from the crowd, earning the respect and admiration of others. This perception not only elevates their status in the eyes of others, but also attracts esteem and admiration in their direction, opening doors to more meaningful and profound connections. Those who consistently demonstrate etiquette and good manners are often seen as natural leaders and role models, sought after for their guidance and advice on social and personal matters. Their presence inspires confidence and comfort, creating an environment conducive to personal growth and the flourishing of interpersonal relationships. More than simply enhancing social attraction, the conscious practice of etiquette is a testimony to the elegance of the soul. It's the external expression of an internal kindness and a genuine desire to contribute to an environment where everyone feels valued and respected. Those who cultivate etiquette as a central aspect of their identity not only enrich their own lives but also leave a positive mark on the world around them, promoting a culture of courtesy, respect, and empathy in all their interactions. By adopting good manners and showing attention to detail in our interactions, we stand out not only for superficial elegance but for the substance of our character, reflecting a beauty that transcends appearances and touches the heart of human relationships. While good manners may initially seem like only external courtesy, they are actually a reflection of our internal values and an expression of our consideration for others. It's how we treat others, not just in words but also in actions and attitudes, that truly reveals who we are as individuals. In this sense, standing out with etiquette is an invitation to reflect on the role each of us plays in building a more civilized and kind society. It's a call to recognize that our daily interactions have a significant impact on the world around us and that we can choose to contribute to an environment of respect and compassion. Every gesture of courtesy, every kind word, is an opportunity to sow kindness and harmony in our communities, creating a world where everyone can flourish and thrive. It's a personal journey towards a deeper understanding of the value of mutual respect and consideration for others' needs and feelings. By practicing etiquette, we not only demonstrate our respect for others, but also cultivate our own sensitivity and empathy. We learn to listen with understanding, to speak with kindness, and to act with consideration, becoming better friends, colleagues, and community members. It's a path that leads us to be recognized not only for our physical presence, but for the quality of our character, and the depth of our interpersonal relationships. When we stand out with etiquette, we inspire others to do the same, creating a positive cycle of courtesy and respect that spreads throughout our social circle and beyond. Thus, etiquette is not just an empty formality, 
but rather a powerful tool for creating a more compassionate and welcoming world, a gesture of kindness that resonates far beyond the present moment. If you're enjoying the insights, don't forget to share your perspective in the comments. I'm curious to know your opinion. Let's continue to be present in the fleeting landscape of our daily lives, marked by a constant bombardment of distractions and an incessant search for productivity. In this scenario, the act of being truly present stands out as an oasis of authenticity and humanity. In a world where attention is an increasingly scarce and contested resource, the ability to be present becomes a precious quality, capable of transforming even the simplest moments into meaningful and enriching experiences. Being present in its purest essence means more than just occupying physical space. It's about fully immersing ourselves in the shared moment, offering our complete attention to the people with whom we interact. It's being truly available, not only physically but mentally and emotionally, ready to engage fully in the conversation, activity, or relationship at hand. It's setting aside concerns of the past and anxieties of the future to fully surrender to the present, where the magic of life truly happens. This total commitment to the here and now is an act of appreciation, a silent yet eloquent declaration that time and shared experience are valuable. It's a way of honoring the present moment and acknowledging the beauty and depth that can be found in every instant of life. By being truly present, we're telling the world and the people around us that they matter, that their words, thoughts, and feelings are worthy of our attention and respect. The practice of presence, especially in an era defined by attention fragmentation, becomes a form of resistance, a return to the fundamentals of human interaction. In a world dominated by bright screens and incessant notifications, choosing to be present is a revolutionary act. A reminder that true connection can only be cultivated through genuine human contact and mindful attention. It's an opportunity to reconnect not only with others but also with ourselves, rediscovering the joy and serenity that come from being truly present in the moment. In the practice of presence, listening is not just about hearing what is said, but also understanding the unsaid, perceiving the emotions that underlie the words, and recognizing our shared humanity. It's a form of deep and meaningful communication where words are just a part of the conversation, and true connection happens in the space between sounds. It's a gentle reminder that behind every face is a story, behind every voice is a soul, and that by truly being present we can connect in ways that transcend the barriers of language and culture. Active listening goes beyond simply hearing. It's an active engagement, an energetic exchange that validates the other person, making them feel seen and heard in their entirety. It's an act of genuine presence, where not only sounds are picked up, but also the emotions, feelings, and nuances of communication. When we dedicate ourselves to active listening, we're not just offering our attention, but also demonstrating empathy and respect for the other person, recognizing their importance and valuing their perspective. This form of communication builds bridges, breaks down barriers, and nurtures relationships. When someone feels truly heard, a space of trust and openness is created allowing for a deeper and more meaningful connection. It's as if the listener extends a hand to the speaker, inviting them to share their experience and truth authentically and without judgment. This mutual exchange of understanding and acceptance strengthens interpersonal bonds, creating fertile ground for the growth and evolution of relationships. Furthermore, the ability to engage in conversations without falling into the trap of distractions, whether physical like the constant allure of electronic devices or mental, like the predominance of thoughts about the past or the future, indicates respect and consideration. Being present in the present moment is a gift we offer to others, demonstrating our willingness to value not only the words shared, but also the time and presence of the other person. It's an immensely valuable resource in our fast-paced era, where attention is a scarce and contested commodity. By cultivating the ability to actively listen, we not only enrich our personal and professional relationships, but also contribute to a culture of empathetic and collaborative communication. It's through the power of attentive and compassionate listening that we can build a world where every individual feels truly valued and understood, where differences are celebrated and conflicts are resolved with respect and compassion. Being present not only enhances our social perception, making us more attractive and accessible in the eyes of others, but also enriches us internally, allowing us to experience life more fully and consciously. By cultivating presence, we open ourselves to the subtleties and riches of human interactions, finding beauty and meaning in details that might otherwise go unnoticed. 
It's as if each moment becomes more vivid and vibrant, filled with opportunities to learn, grow, and connect with others in deep and meaningful ways. Not revealing everything about oneself in the complex fabric of human relationships is a subtle act of sharing, balancing on the fine line between genuine openness and preserving a sacred inner space. It's understanding that authenticity doesn't necessarily mean exposing every thought, feeling, or personal experience to the world, but rather carefully choosing what to share and when to share it. It's about honoring our own history and dignity, protecting the essential core of who we are while allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and authentic in our interactions with others. Maintaining a certain veil of mystery around oneself is not a game of hide-and-seek with the truth, but a deliberate choice to weave our narrative with care and consideration. It's recognizing that we are complex and multifaceted beings, whose true depths can be revealed over time as we build trust and intimacy with those around us. It's allowing self-disclosure to occur not as a flood, but as a serene river that gradually unveils its depths, flowing naturally as we progress in our personal journeys and interpersonal relationships. By cultivating this ability to share with discernment and authenticity, we create space for more meaningful communication and genuine connections. It's through this delicate dance between disclosure and reservation that we build relationships that are enriching and satisfying, based on mutual understanding, respect, and acceptance. It's a journey of self-awareness and personal growth, where each interaction invites us to become more aware of who we are and the impact we have on others, enriching our lives and the lives of those around us in the process. This careful selection of what to share serves not only as a guardian of our own vulnerability, but also as an invitation to curiosity, to genuine interest. Contrary to the notion of absolute transparency, which paradoxically can dilute the essence of connection, mystery calls for exploration, a desire to know the other more deeply. It suggests that beneath the known surface there are layers yet undiscovered, unexplored territories promising to enrich the shared journey. By choosing to share selectively, we acknowledge the importance of preserving intimate aspects of our identity, while also making room for mutual discovery. This practice is not about hiding who we are, but rather about revealing ourselves gradually and intentionally, allowing others to know us more deeply and meaningfully over time. With discoveries and revelations, selectively sharing oneself is an organic process of relational building, where each piece of shared personal history is a stone laid upon the foundation of trust. Each shared experience, each revealed detail, contributes to the formation of a stronger and more authentic connection between the involved parties. This strategy of gradual revelation allows relationships to flourish at their own pace, nurturing a mutual interest that grows and deepens over time. Instead of overwhelming the other with a flood of personal information from the outset, we choose to allow intimacy to develop naturally, creating a safe space where both sides feel comfortable sharing their stories and experiences. Therefore, the depth of attraction is not based solely on the quantity of information shared, but on the quality of the connection that forms as each new layer is revealed. It's authenticity, vulnerability, and willingness to truly engage with the other that cultivate a lasting and meaningful bond, enriching the shared journey with moments of understanding, acceptance, and mutual love. Consequently, cultivating an element of mystery is not an act of hiding or deception, but a celebration of human complexity. Recognizing and respecting this complexity means understanding that we are multifaceted beings, each with a rich history and nuances that cannot be fully grasped in a single moment or encounter. It's as if each person is a book with pages yet to be opened, inviting us to explore and discover their various layers over time. This approach not only preserves individuality and respects the psychological and emotional space of each person but also values the gradual nature of getting to know someone. Each new discovery, each revelation is like turning a page, revealing a new chapter in the person's story. It's a process of building intimacy that doesn't happen instantly but over time, as we share experiences, emotions, and thoughts with each other. By maintaining a certain degree of mystery, we encourage continued dialogue and exchange, keeping the flame of curiosity and fascination alive. It's as if we're unraveling a captivating mystery, always eager to discover what lies beyond the next bend. This subtle game of revealing and concealing of knowing and being known enriches the fabric of relationships adding a dimension of depth and complexity. Every carefully revealed layer of mystery is like a gift, offering an opportunity for a deeper and more meaningful connection. It's through this ongoing process of discovery and revelation that bonds between people strengthen and deepen.
Instead of diminishing attraction, mystery fuels the desire to know more, creating an exciting dynamic that keeps relationships vibrant and thrilling over time. Thus, cultivating a certain degree of mystery not only keeps the flame of attraction alive, but also fosters deeper respect and understanding among individuals. It's a way of honoring each individual's uniqueness and acknowledging that true intimacy is built over time, with patience, care, and a touch of mystery. The development of literary culture, immersion in a universe of letters and knowledge, is an endless journey through distant lands, past eras, and multifaceted perspectives. It's as if each page turn transports us to new horizons, inviting us to explore unknown worlds and understand diverse viewpoints. By delving into the exploration of cultures through literature, languages, and diligent monitoring of current events, we arm ourselves not only with knowledge but also with the lenses necessary to appreciate the richness of human diversity. This literary journey transcends mere acquisition of facts or passive consumption of narratives. It's a continuous dialogue with the world, a way of establishing intimate connections with the infinite facets of human experience. Every book read, every poem absorbed, is an opportunity to expand our horizons and enrich our understanding of the world around us. Cultivating a curious mind, one that delights in discovering new concepts and strives to understand the nuances of different cultures and languages, is cultivating a soul that resonates in harmony with the vast spectrum of life. It's as if each book were an open window to the world, inviting us to explore its landscapes, its traditions, and its stories. Demonstrating familiarity with a wide range of subjects is not just a display of erudition, but a sign of respect for the complexity of the world and its countless voices. It's recognizing that each culture, each language has its own history and its own contribution to the richness of human experience. It's an act of humility and openness, a demonstration of our commitment to learning and growing as human beings in an increasingly interconnected world. Thus, the literary journey is not just a quest for knowledge, but a journey of self-discovery and empathy. It's an opportunity to put ourselves in others' shoes, to see the world through their eyes, and to connect with their shared humanity. It's a journey that challenges us, inspires us, and transforms us, making us more aware, more compassionate, and more whole as individuals and as members of a global community. It's a recognition that each culture, each language, each current event contributes an essential piece to the mosaic of global understanding. By looking at the world as a vast and intricate tapestry of experiences and perspectives, we understand that each element of this fabric is unique and valuable in its own way. Each culture brings with it a wealth of traditions, values, and knowledge that enrich the global panorama of humanity. Each language is a unique expression of the creativity and history of a people. Each current event is an opportunity for reflection and learning about the challenges and achievements of contemporary society. This openness and respect for diversity not only enrich the fabric of our conversations, making them more vibrant and nuanced, but also expand our circle of empathy. By recognizing and valuing others' different experiences and perspectives, we broaden our horizons and become more receptive and compassionate. We come to understand that differences are not obstacles but opportunities for growth and mutual enrichment. Allowing ourselves to embrace perspectives beyond our immediate experiences is an exercise in humility and curiosity. It's acknowledging that we don't have all the answers and that there is much to learn from others. By integrating diverse knowledge into our interactions, we not only capture the interest of our interlocutors but also build bridges over the chasms of ignorance and lack of awareness. Each conversation becomes an opportunity for sharing and discovery, a space where appreciation for differences translates into mutual enrichment. It's as if each word exchanged were a bridge bringing us a little closer to each other, an opportunity to build bonds of understanding and solidarity in a world that often seems divided and fragmented. Thus, by recognizing and celebrating the diversity of the world, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute to the building of a more inclusive, empathetic, and harmonious society. Every small gesture of openness and respect for diversity is a step towards a brighter and more humane future for all. The intellectual attraction that emanates from this is not based solely on the simple display of knowledge, but on the ability to engage, question, and reflect together on the complex fabric of the world. It's as if each conversation becomes a shared journey, where we explore together the mysteries of existence, unravel the puzzles of history, and reflect on the challenges of the present. Developing a literary culture transcends mere accumulation of information. It's a deeply personal journey, 
an intellectual odyssey that invites us to delve into the depths of our own essence. Each page turned is an opportunity for self-discovery, an invitation to explore the innermost recesses of our minds and hearts. As we venture into the worlds created by the brilliant minds of authors, we are challenged to question our own worldviews. Literature, with its myriad of perspectives and voices, serves as a mirror that reflects not only the society around us, but also our own beliefs and prejudices. Each book, each story, each character invites us to put ourselves in the shoes of others, to see the world through different eyes than our own. This journey is not just a quest for knowledge, but a quest for wisdom. Through critical and reflective reading, we develop the ability to analyze and understand the complexities of the human condition. We learn to recognize the nuances and subtleties that permeate our social interactions, to appreciate the richness of cultural diversity, and to value the multiplicity of experiences that shape our understanding of the world. Moreover, literature not only enriches our minds, but also strengthens our ties to the global community. By engaging with a wide range of literary works, we are exposed to different cultures, eras, and viewpoints, thus expanding our empathy and compassion for others. We become citizens of the world, capable of transcending the physical and mental boundaries that separate us, and of connecting with people from all walks of life. Finally, as we cultivate a literary culture, we not only become more informed and engaged citizens, but also contribute to building a fairer and more inclusive society. Through the power of the written word, we can challenge injustices and promote equality, inspiring positive change in our community and beyond. Thus, each book read is not only a window into a new dimension of human experience, but also a tool for personal and social transformation. In the process of developing a literary culture, we not only become more interesting and informed conversationalists, but also embark on a journey of personal enrichment that transcends the boundaries of intellect. As we delve into the vast depths of literature, we are immersed in an ocean of human knowledge, where each work is a pearl of wisdom to be discovered. This journey invites us to develop a keen sensitivity to the diversity that permeates the fabric of human existence. As we explore the pages of different works, we are exposed to the multiple voices that echo throughout history, thus enriching our understanding of the complexity of the world around us. Through literature, we learn to appreciate the nuances of language, to discern the shades of emotions and to unravel the mysteries of the human condition. Moreover, the process of cultivating a literary culture is also a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. As we engage with the stories and characters that populate the pages of books, we are confronted with reflections on our own identity and life experiences. Literature invites us to explore the depths of our soul, to confront our deepest fears and desires, and to seek answers to the questions that haunt us. At the same time, developing a literary culture is more than a solitary activity. It is an opportunity to connect with a community of readers and knowledge explorers. Through book clubs, literary events, and online discussions, we can share our reading experiences, exchange ideas and perspectives, and expand our intellectual horizons together with other literature enthusiasts. Ultimately, the true value of developing a literary culture lies in how it empowers us to become better human beings. By becoming more sensitive to the diversity and complexity of the human experience, we develop greater empathy and compassion for others. We recognize that each person carries with them a unique story, full of challenges and triumphs, and we become more willing to extend a helping hand offer support, and share the burden of the human journey. In essence, developing a literary culture is a celebration of shared humanity, a reminder that we are all interconnected in our search for meaning and connection in this vast universe of experiences and stories. The act of sharing and understanding emotions not only strengthens interpersonal bonds, but also serves as a powerful catalyst for building solid and meaningful relationships. When we allow ourselves to dive into the depths of others' emotions and genuinely connect with their humanity, we are building bridges of trust and intimacy that withstand the storms of adversity. By opening our hearts to others' experiences, we create a sacred space where people feel truly heard and understood. This environment of unconditional acceptance allows others to express themselves freely, without the weight of judgment or rejection. It is in this setting of mutual support and understanding that authentic relationships flourish where each individual feels valued for who they are without the need to mask their vulnerabilities. The practice of empathy and compassion not only strengthens existing bonds, but also creates fertile ground for the flourishing of new connections. In a world often marked by loneliness and disconnection, 
genuine presence and care for others are beacons of hope, reminding us that we are not alone in our journeys. This exchange of mutual support not only strengthens us individually, but also connects us to a web of human relationships that enrich our existence in profound and unpredictable ways. Thus, each gesture of empathy and compassion is a light shining in the darkness, illuminating the path to more meaningful relationships and a more united community. By embracing each other's humanity, we create a world where the warmth of understanding and the strength of connection are the driving forces propelling us forward, together, towards a future of compassion and solidarity. In this context, the word meaningful transcends superficial limits, delving into a level of deep connection where mutual support, unconditional acceptance, and collective growth intertwine to form the pillars of authentic relationships. Relating with empathy and compassion implies much more than mere superficial interactions. It is a delicate dance of giving and receiving, where generosity and kindness are the threads weaving the bond between people. Celebrating triumphs and offering support in difficult times are just a few aspects of this shared journey. True relating involves recognizing that, at their core, we all seek to be understood, valued, and loved. It is understanding that, through empathy and compassion, we can offer and receive these invaluable gifts that make life meaningful. Beyond mere admirable virtues, empathy and compassion are living practices, embodied in every aspect of our daily lives. They challenge us to transcend our own needs and desires, to listen not only to what is said but also to what is left unsaid, and to act not out of obligation, but propelled by a genuine desire to alleviate others' suffering. By committing to care and compassion in our daily interactions, we build a more humane world, where each individual is valued, and each experience is recognized as part of life's shared journey. It is through these small acts of kindness and understanding that we can make a difference, transforming not only our personal relationships, but also society as a whole. Embracing humor, that spark of lightness amidst the density of everyday life, plays a transcendental role in the art of weaving human connections. In a world often marked by seriousness and the weight of responsibilities, humor emerges as a comforting refuge, a welcome pause that allows us to breathe, relax, and find a moment of relief amidst the chaos. However, the role of humor goes beyond simply providing moments of fleeting laughter. It acts as a unifying force, a powerful tool capable of transcending differences and establishing genuine bonds between people. In a society where divisions are often highlighted, humor serves as common ground, a neutral territory where all can come together and share a laugh, regardless of their backgrounds, beliefs, or opinions. Far from being just an accessory in communication, Humor is a bridge that unites hearts and minds, a solvent capable of dissolving the barriers we often erect around ourselves. In a world where vulnerability is often seen as a weakness, humor allows us to let down our guard and connect authentically with others. It encourages us to set aside our worries and anxieties for a moment and simply enjoy each other's company, thus creating a space where authenticity and acceptance flourish. Furthermore, Humor also plays a vital role in promoting mental health and relieving stress. By allowing us to find levity even in the darkest moments, humor helps us face life's challenges with a more positive and resilient perspective. It reminds us that despite the difficulties we face, there is still room for joy and hope in our lives. In summary, embracing humor not only allows us to find relief and connection amidst the chaos of daily life, but also empowers us to face life's challenges with lightness and resilience. It's a powerful tool that can transform not only our personal relationships, but also our worldview, making it a more welcoming and compassionate place for everyone. Incorporating humor into our interactions not only facilitates the flow of communication, but also adds a dose of warmth and humanity to our exchanges. Shared laughter creates a special bond of camaraderie, a comforting sense that we are all navigating this journey called life together, and that we can find joy and comfort in each other. In a world where connections often seem superficial and fleeting, humor reminds us of our shared humanity, of our intrinsic ability to connect with each other on a deeper level. Additionally, humor plays a crucial role in our ability to face challenges and adversities with more lightness and resilience. By finding the funny side of difficult situations, we are able to turn stress into laughter and uncertainty into opportunities for growth. Humor provides us with a new lens through which we can view life allowing us to transcend difficulties and find hope even in the darkest moments. It's important to highlight that humor is not just a tool for escaping reality, but also a powerful way of dealing with it. 
It helps us maintain a balanced perspective in the face of challenges, offering an outlet for accumulated stress and allowing us to recharge our emotional energies. Moreover, laughter has been associated with a range of health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and even increasing hope and resilience. Therefore, by embracing humor in our lives, we are not only adding a touch of fun and joy to our daily lives, but also strengthening our interpersonal bonds, cultivating a more positive outlook on life, and building emotional resilience to face whatever challenges the future may bring. Ultimately, humor is one of the most powerful tools at our disposal to make the journey of life lighter, more meaningful, and more rewarding. Therefore, embracing humor is not just a matter of entertainment but a profound way of cultivating more authentic relationships, facing challenges with more lightness, and finding joy even in the most difficult circumstances. It's a powerful tool that we all have at our disposal, an endless source of connection, healing, and personal growth. The beauty of humor lies in its universality, and at the same time, its personalization. Indeed, we find laughter in every culture and in every part of the world, a common language that transcends borders and differences. However, what is funny to one person may not be to another, and it is this individuality that makes humor so fascinating. Each of us has a unique sense of humor, influenced by our personality, life experiences, and cultural context. Additionally, Humor plays a fundamental role in bridging the gap between people of different backgrounds and perspectives. When we share moments of laughter with others, we are creating bonds of camaraderie and mutual understanding that transcend social and cultural barriers. Humor invites us to celebrate our differences rather than divide us, and helps us find a common language that unites us as human beings. Finally, it is important to recognize that humor not only helps us connect with others, but also strengthens us individually. Finding the funny side of situations allows us to face life's challenges with a more positive and resilient perspective. It encourages us not to take life too seriously and to find beauty even in the most difficult adversities. Ultimately, humor is a powerful tool that can help us find meaning, connection, and joy amidst the complexities of human existence. You don't need to aspire to be the funniest person in a gathering to reap the benefits of this wonderful social tool. In fact, Often it's the subtle remarks and insightful observations that resonate most with others. It's not just about telling elaborate jokes or performing comedic acts. It's about finding simple and authentic ways to lighten the mood and create genuine connections with the people around us. Well-placed comments and insightful observations wrapped in lightness have the power to completely transform the atmosphere of a social interaction. They are like rays of sunshine breaking through the clouds dissipating tension and creating an atmosphere of perceived affability and approachability. In fact, it is precisely this authenticity and subtlety that often resonate more deeply with others, eliciting genuine smiles and laughter. Humor, when employed skillfully and sensitively, functions as a lubricant in the gears of social interaction, smoothing out friction and making interactions more pleasant for all involved. A simple smile, a shared laugh, can break the ice and open doors to more open and meaningful communication. Humor creates common ground where people can meet, regardless of their differences, and form bonds of camaraderie and mutual understanding. Moreover, the power of humor goes beyond just making social interactions more enjoyable. It can also strengthen relationships and foster a sense of belonging and connection. When we share moments of laughter with others, we are creating shared memories that bond us and strengthen our ties. Ultimately, humor is a powerful tool that can help us build more authentic and meaningful relationships, making our lives richer and more fulfilling. Well-applied humor doesn't seek to ridicule or diminish others, but rather to celebrate our common humanity, with all its imperfections and peculiarities. When we laugh together, we are acknowledging our ability to laugh at ourselves, to find humor in the most absurd situations, and to connect through laughter. It's a way of celebrating our diversity and recognizing that, Despite our differences, we all share the universal experience of being human. Furthermore, humor plays a vital role in promoting empathy and mutual understanding. By allowing ourselves to laugh along with others, we are extending a hand of solidarity and acceptance, showing that we value not only the similarities, but also the differences that make us unique. Laughter transcends social and cultural barriers, uniting us in a moment of communion and camaraderie. Therefore, by incorporating humor into our daily interactions, we are not only adding a touch of lightness and fun to our lives, but also strengthening the bonds that unite us as a global community.
Laughter is one of the greatest gifts we can share with each other, an expression of our shared humanity, and a reminder that, at the end of the day, we're all in this journey called life together. Furthermore, humor can be a powerful tool for promoting emotional resilience and mental well-being. Studies show that laughter has therapeutic effects, helping to reduce stress, strengthen the immune system, and increase feelings of happiness and satisfaction. Therefore, by cultivating an environment of humor and positivity in our lives, we are also investing in our long-term health and well-being. The ability to laugh together to share a moment of genuine joy is a powerful affirmation of connection. When we laugh with someone, we are not only expressing our own happiness, but also acknowledging and valuing the presence of the other person in our lives. This act of sharing laughter creates common ground, a shared memory that serves as a foundation for deeper and more lasting relationships. It's as if we're building a sanctuary of complicity, where joy is the currency that strengthens the bonds between people. In this sense, humor becomes not only a vehicle for breaking the ice, but also for building continuously desirable company. When we are able to find humor in everyday situations and share laughs with others, we are creating an atmosphere of relaxation and comfort that invites emotional closeness. People naturally gravitate towards those who can bring lightness and joy into their lives, especially in moments that seem overwhelmed by worries and stresses. Laughter acts as a balm for the soul, relieving tensions and strengthening the ties that bind us as human beings. Additionally, sharing laughs can be a powerful catalyst for strengthening relationships over time. When we have positive and memorable experiences with other people, it creates a solid foundation of connection and mutual trust. Shared laughter not only unites us in the present moment, but also creates memories that can be revisited and shared in the future, further strengthening the bonds between us. Finally, laughter also plays a crucial role in promoting mental health and emotional well-being. Studies show that laughter has therapeutic effects, helping to reduce stress, increase feelings of happiness, and strengthen the immune system. Therefore, by cultivating an environment of humor and positivity in our lives, we are not only strengthening our relationships, but also investing in our own long-term health and well-being. However, it is worth noting that effective humor is one that resonates with the sensitivity and circumstances of the audience. It requires a keen reading of the environment and an understanding of the boundaries of what is appropriate and what can be shared. Not every type of humor is suitable for every situation or for every person, and it is important to be attentive to nonverbal cues and body language of others to ensure that our humor is received as intended. This demonstrates not only social intelligence but also care and respect for the feelings of others. Additionally, the ability to employ humor appropriately and inclusively is a valuable social skill that can immensely enrich social interactions. It is a way to communicate affection, relieve stress, and strengthen bonds between people. When we use humor responsibly and sensitively, we are creating an environment where everyone feels valued and included, and where relationships can flourish and thrive. However, it is important to recognize that cultural and individual sensitivity plays a crucial role in determining what is considered humorous and appropriate in different contexts. What may be funny to one person or group may not be to another, and it is essential to respect these differences. Empathy and mutual respect are essential when using humor as a communication tool, ensuring that everyone feels comfortable and respected during social interactions. Furthermore, by employing humor inclusively, we can promote diversity and equality, creating an environment where all voices are valued and heard. Humor can be a powerful way to challenge stereotypes and prejudices, promoting a culture of respect and mutual understanding. In short, the ability to employ humor appropriately and inclusively not only enriches our social interactions, but also contributes to building more inclusive and supportive communities. It's a powerful tool that can be used to promote understanding, strengthen bonds between people, and create a world where everyone feels valued and respected. Taking good care of oneself in the vast panorama of everyday life, where demands and challenges intertwine in a complex fabric of responsibilities, self-care emerges as a beacon of self-esteem and resilience. This act of self-care is not merely a luxury or an act of indulgence, but a vital necessity amidst the demands of modern life. By recognizing the importance of maintaining balance and harmony between body and mind, by prioritizing self-care, we equip ourselves with the necessary tools to navigate the sometimes turbulent waters of existence with grace and vigor. Taking good care of oneself encompasses a wide range of practices, from proper nutrition and regular physical activity 
to moments of quietude and inner reflection. It's as if we're cultivating an internal garden, watering it with love and attention so that it may flourish and develop to its fullest. These seemingly simple actions are powerful acts of self-esteem affirmation, demonstrating a commitment to health and well-being in all dimensions of our lives. Moreover, self-care is not limited to physical care alone, but also encompasses emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects. Incorporating practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and creative expression into our daily routine can nurture our mental and emotional health, promoting greater balance and holistic well-being. By setting aside time to reconnect with ourselves and with what brings us joy and meaning, we invest in our own resilience and ability to cope with life's challenges. Furthermore, taking good care of oneself is not just an individual matter, but also affects our relationships and communities. When we are in our best physical, mental, and emotional state, we are better able to offer support and care to those around us. Self-care, therefore, is not a selfish act, but rather an act of generosity, as it empowers us to be better partners, parents, friends, and community members. Finally, it's important to recognize that self-care is not a linear journey, but rather a continuous process of self-discovery and self-development. It's normal to have ups and downs along this journey, and it's essential to practice self-compassion and acceptance during difficult times. By cultivating a gentle and compassionate attitude towards ourselves, we can nurture a more loving and caring relationship with ourselves, empowering us to live a full and meaningful life. Nurturing our bodies with healthy and nutritious foods is a way of showing respect and gratitude for the wonderful machine that allows us to live and experience the world around us. Similarly, dedicating time to physical activities that bring us joy and vitality not only strengthens our bodies, but also calms our minds and uplifts our spirits. And when we reserve precious moments for introspection and contemplation, we nurture our souls, connecting with our deepest essence and finding peace and balance in the turmoil of daily life. Moreover, self-care goes beyond physical practices and also involves caring for our emotions and mental well-being. This may include setting healthy boundaries, practicing self-compassion and seeking support when needed. By becoming aware of our own needs and learning to prioritize ourselves in a healthy way, we are building a solid foundation for a fuller and more satisfying life. In summary, self-care is an investment in ourselves, an act of self-love that allows us to live with more authenticity, vitality, and purpose. It's a continuous journey of discovery and personal growth, where each step towards well-being brings us closer to the life we want to live. By making self-care a priority in our lives, we honor our own dignity and ability to create a meaningful and fulfilling life. The commitment to self-care extends beyond simply optimizing physical health. It reflects a holistic state of well-being that encompasses not only the body, but also the mind and spirit. By dedicating attention and care to both our physical and mental health, we experience a tangible increase in mood, energy, and liveliness, essential components of a magnetic and attractive presence. Taking care of our physical health nourishes the body with what it needs to function at its best. This involves not only proper nutrition and regular exercise, but also includes adequate sleep, hydration, and stress management. When we commit to these healthy habits, we allow vital energy to flow freely through our bodies, rejuvenating every cell and driving every movement. Similarly, taking care of our mental health cultivates an inner garden of peace and resilience. Practices like mindfulness, seeking moments of tranquility and cultivating positive thoughts are some of the ways we can nurture our minds and promote emotional balance. This attention to mental health not only strengthens our ability to cope with life's challenges, but also allows us to develop greater self-awareness and self-acceptance. This balance between body and mind not only manifests in an internal sense of well-being, but also reflects in a radiant appearance and an aura of vitality. When we are truly taking care of ourselves, our positive energy radiates into the world around us, attracting people and creating a vibration that invites interaction and connection. Therefore, self-care is much more than an act of personal maintenance. It is a statement of intention, a testimony to the ongoing journey of growth and self-improvement. By investing time and energy in taking care of ourselves, we send a clear message to the world that we value our existence and are committed to living the most rewarding and vibrant life possible. And by sharing this commitment to self-care, we inspire and empower others to do the same, creating a culture of well-being and authenticity that benefits everyone. Self-care is not just a personal practice. It is a catalyst for significant cultural change in our society. 
When we commit to self-care, we are not only prioritizing our own well-being but also acting as agents of transformation towards a healthier and happier community. Imagine a world where self-care is not seen as a luxury, but as a fundamental right. In this reality, people are encouraged and supported to make time for themselves, to take care of their mental and physical health, and to nurture their relationships in a healthy way. This is the kind of culture that can be cultivated when each individual recognizes the vital importance of self-care. Furthermore, self-care does not happen in a vacuum. Its practice has a tangible impact on our interactions with others. When we are well cared for, we are able to offer more support, understanding, and empathy to those around us. This creates a positive cycle where self-care becomes contagious, inspiring others to prioritize their health and happiness as well. Consider, for example, how the simple act of making time to meditate or exercise can not only improve our own mental and physical health, but also positively influence those around us. By sharing our experiences and encouraging others to take care of themselves, we are building a more resilient and supportive community. Therefore, self-care is not just about the individual. It's about recognizing our interconnectedness and responsibility to each other. By choosing to take care of ourselves, we are not only investing in our own well-being, but also contributing to a world where health and happiness are shared and celebrated values by all. The practice of leaving comments and providing feedback on the content we consume is essential for continuous growth and improvement. It's a way to express gratitude, share opinions, and contribute to the enhancement of the content provided. By taking a moment to share your thoughts, you're not only strengthening the community around the channel, but also helping creators better understand the needs and preferences of the audience. Additionally, the mindful approach of balancing availability with preserving personal space is a crucial skill in building healthy and meaningful relationships. Recognizing that time and energy are limited and precious resources is essential for establishing healthy boundaries and promoting mutual respect. By clearly defining when and how you're available, you're honoring your own needs and demonstrating self-respect. At the same time, by setting these boundaries, you're communicating to others that your presence and attention are valuable and worthy of appreciation. This creates a more balanced relationship dynamic, where each interaction is seen as an opportunity for meaningful and valuable connection. By choosing not to be available all the time, you're cultivating a culture of mutual respect and genuine appreciation. Each interaction becomes more meaningful and rewarding, as it's driven by anticipation and mutual appreciation. This approach not only protects your own well-being, but also strengthens the bonds you share with others, making each shared moment deeper and more enriching. Maintaining a healthy balance between being accessible and cultivating your independence is more than just a task. It's a refined skill that requires awareness and intention. This delicate dance between connection and autonomy is essential for nurturing meaningful relationships and continuous personal development. By recognizing the importance of nurturing interpersonal relationships, we are investing in the essence of human life connection. However, it's also vital to honor the need for personal space for individual growth, reflection, and renewal. This dynamic balance not only enhances the quality of interactions, but also strengthens self-esteem and autonomy for each individual. By consciously managing your availability, you're sending a powerful message to others about the value of time and energy. In doing so, you're inviting others to reflect on the importance of respecting and valuing individual boundaries and needs. This practice promotes a culture of reciprocity and mutual respect, where interactions are based on understanding and valuing everyone's needs. This mindful and respectful approach to human interaction not only strengthens the bonds between people but also enriches the fabric of relationships. Each shared moment is seen as a precious opportunity for genuine connection, and each individual's company is recognized as a gift to be valued. This mindset challenges the notion that human presence is an inexhaustible resource highlighting it as something truly meaningful and worthy of being appreciated in its entirety. We hope this has been as enriching for you as it was for us to prepare it. Now we want to hear from you. What practices will you adopt to enhance your silent charm? Comment below, share your experiences and ideas, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to continue your journey of evolution with us. Don't stop here, choose one of the videos on the screen to move forward. Thank you for watching and until next time.